As many jobs have turned digital during COVID-19, working from home advocates say now is the time to encourage more people to get into tech. Leaders in Indianapolis are trying to engage women in technology and especially minority women to flip the script on race and women in STEM. WRTV's Stephanie Wade shares their advice and efforts to create more equality in Indiana businesses. I think it's made people more aware that it's something that they need to push themselves towards. In a time where everyone is using technology tenfold to do their jobs from home, Audrey Taylor with NetLogix hopes this is encouraging more women to get into tech. I've always said I think the tech career is very welcoming to work-life balance for women. I think the pandemic has shown that in spades. A consulting services company that helps organizations manage change in the IT space, NetLogix works to promote and be diverse by design, supporting minority organizations through partnership and mentorship to inspire women to pursue STEM-related jobs in Indiana, recognizing that minorities are often pigeonholed to certain careers or believing they can't pursue something. I think businesses need to look like the society we're part of. We know women make most of the financial decisions in, the, in our private lives. Um, so recognizing that and that they're good managers of those kind of decisions, it seems silly to not allow them to make decisions in boardrooms and all the way down. How businesses can create a more diverse workforce. So our Latino Institute here in Indianapolis is a very, very vibrant organization. We've got a Latino part of the Indiana Chamber. We've got that for the black community too. So engaging in those organizations and finding ways in led us to those relationships with Ivy and IUPUI so that we could be more engaged with a slightly different look and look, looking um, part of the student community. And our interns through those organizations have been fantastic and really aided and abetted our growth. Connecting with communities outside of your own, she says, has been extremely helpful in creating a larger, more diverse pipeline of talent from across the state. Stephanie Wade, WRTV.